Hi, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw realistic fur using the Color Therapy app. Whether you're wanting to color animal fur, long or short hair, curly hair, texture on rugs or coats, this tutorial is for you. I'll show you how to add both long and short fur texture to a squirrel. The same technique can be applied to virtually any other subject with fur or hair. If you would like to follow along with the image I'm using, go into the Classic tab, scroll to Animals, and it's the first image under Whimsical Animals. So let's get started. Now I do recommend looking at a reference photo if you're trying to color or draw anything realistically. So here's my reference photo. Now this will help inform me where to add the texture and the colors on a squirrel. I recommend when adding fur or hair to a subject, I would just tap to fill in the color first so you have a foundation and then add the details of the fur on top of it. So for this one, let's open up the color palette. Under the shades palette, go under brown two, and I'm going to just choose a medium brown color. Make sure it's set to solid. And then you will select the tap to fill mode and just tap to fill in the areas. And then for the chest of the squirrel, I'm going to choose a very light brown, so it has a little bit of contrast. So let's choose our colors for the fur. So in the same color palette, I'm gonna choose a dark brown and then sort of a reddish brown. And then you'll also want to choose a black and a white in the basic palette. Now let's get started. So let's select the manual mode and I'm going to use the airbrush tool. You can also use pencil tool. The flat brush tool also works well. It just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So, but for this particular tutorial, the airbrush tool is gonna work great and it kind of gives it a fuzzy feel to it. So it works really well for fur and hair. So I'm going to have the opacity at 100% and lower the size to 0% so we can have very fine lines. Now zooming in to the middle of the squirrel here, um, as you can see, there's already some lines on the squirrel and they're actually great to guide us to show us how the fur on the squirrel is going to move. So let's work from dark to light, selecting that dark brown color that we have. We're going to just begin hatching lines, going the direction of those black guiding lines. So you can see kind of how they curve around the back of the squirrel there. So you just kind of go ahead and start adding in those lines. And I'm not making them very long because the squirrel hair is pretty short for this area. Now I'll use that reddish brown color and add a layer on top of it in the same way. And I'm just going to add it in a few areas here and there, not every single area. Next, to add in some highlights, let's choose the white. And now I'm going to add it just to a few areas to make the fur look like it's catching some light. And I'll also do that where there's a curve in the subject. So just along the back here and then where the neck is right here. And I'm making sure to curve those lines a little bit. So I'm curving with the shape of the object. Now as you go, I recommend going into the effects tab and removing the lines. And now you can see much better what you're doing. Now continue with those layers going around the squirrel's body as we did before. And then you'll want to add in a bit of darker hair for some shadow wherever there is an overlapping line. So for example, we want to add in shadow with black where the leg is overlapping the body there, underneath the chin here, underneath the ears, at the bottom of the tail and below the arms. So anywhere where there's overlapping lines, we'll add in the dark shadow. And just continue in that way, filling in the fur, just going one section at a time for the rest of the squirrel's body. Now to do long fur like on the tail, We'll do the same thing, but now we're going to curve it a little bit and make it a bit longer. So I'm going to work with that dark brown color I had before, since it's going to be a lot darker at the bottom of the tail here. And I'm just going to start with one section and I'm making a lot longer strokes and I'm going in the direction of the tail. Now, some of these strokes, I'm going to just start to add a little bit of a curve into, but the general direction of the flow of the wave is going to follow the shape of the tail. And you kind of want to just continue that all the way up to the end of the tail. Now you do want to make sure that you are coloring outside of the lines when you are doing the outside of the animal so that the fur is essentially coming out past those lines and you have little bits of fur sticking out so you can see it as if it's more realistic. Now this is the same idea that you can apply to hair 
or a horse's mane, cats, dogs, or anything like that. Then when you go to add in the highlights, you can either use a light brown or a white, and we'll do the same thing, just adding on a layer in a curved manner. And we're going to sort of curve it just in a few areas here and there. So we're trying to make it have a big bushy tail. And I'll use that lighter brown color that we used for the belly just to add in a bit more and extend it beyond the lines of the image. So you wanna concentrate those highlights sort of in one line at a time. So for example, I'll have some highlights there and then I'll have highlights kind of down here. So I'll kind of skip a section of the brown fur and that will create the illusion of shine. So that's it, just continue in that same manner for the rest of the drawing. Here's the squirrel with a few more layers of fur added. You can apply these ideas to create fur on cats, dogs, horses, bunnies, and even human hair. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.